Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Industrial 4 going in Minecraft 1.16.3. I'm going to be going over every single step of getting Industrial 4 going, from downloading it to installing it, setting it up, even getting the library mod that's really not even mentioned whatsoever, uh, but it is a compatibility mod that is required for Industrial 4 going in 1.16.3, and we're going to be showing you how to get that in this video as well. However, first and foremost, we have my smart sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Get an incredible 24-hour DNOS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you're looking for a great Minecraft server for you and your friends to love and enjoy, check out Apex at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running quickly and easily. They really are the best Minecraft server hosting company out there, so... Check them out in the link in the description below. But nevertheless, we're getting Industrial 4 going here today. And the first thing to do in order to do that is go to the second link down below. And they'll take you to the download page here. Now, as you can see, there is a lot of different stuff on this page to make note of. Specifically, to get started with Industrial 4 going, you would need to collect latex from using a tree fluid extractor and placing it in front of a log. Then use latex processing unit with some water and power, RF provided with the pitful fuel generator, for example, to make tiny pieces of rubber. Right? That's kind of a complicated. Now, there is an in-game manual that's not implemented in 1.16.4 yet. It is in beta 1.16.3 so eventually that will be implemented but right now it is not. When it is you can get that in game but nevertheless it's not there just yet. But that doesn't mean you can't use the wiki and things like that in order to figure out what to do with this mod and how to use it the best way possible. So let's go ahead and jump into getting Industrial 4 going. After you've clicked the second link in the description down below you'll be on this download page. Come over here to the right hand side and scroll down until you see Minecraft 1.16 and then click on the purple download button to the left of the version here. As you can see it is for 1.16.3 when you hover over it. It says Industrial 4 going 1.16.3. Click that purple download button and it will go ahead and take us off where the download will begin in just a few seconds. When it does begin in the bottom left, it will go ahead and need to be kept in the bottom left. As you can see, keep there. Industrial 4 going is in the title, so we're safe to keep it. You will need to save it in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. Now, and then the third link down below is Titanium. Now you might be like, what is this? This is the hidden compatibility mod that is required to run Industrial 4 going in 1.16.3. I say it's hidden because it makes no mention of it on the download page whatsoever. The only way you would know this is if you installed the mod and then it would tell you that it needed a thing called Titanium, but wouldn't tell you how to find it. So nevertheless, I've found it for us and uh, here it is. And if you've had issues installing Industrial 4 going, your issues are now fixed with this mod. But nevertheless, this is the third link down below. You will need to click that and come here. Same process as Industrial 4 going. Look on the right hand side and scroll down until you see Minecraft 1.16. And then under that, you'll see Titanium 1.16.3. Click the purple download button to the right of that. And Titanium will begin downloading in just a few seconds. And just like with Industrial 4 going, it will need to be kept in the bottom left of Google Chrome right there and saved in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. Now, we aren't done downloading completely just yet. We still need to download Forge. To do that, go to the fourth link down below. And that's going to take you here. This is our in-depth tutorial for Forge in Minecraft 1.16.3. It literally goes over everything you need to know about Forge. But nevertheless, once you're here, you just want to scroll down and click on this green Download Forge button. We're me giving you the basics of Forge in this video. However, if you do have any in-depth issues, go through this bigger in-depth Forge tutorial. But nevertheless, click on this green Forge Download Forge button. That will take us off to here, where you want to make sure the Minecraft 1.16.3 version of Forge is selected. You can see MC 1.16.3 here, so that means it is. But if it isn't, click on the left-hand side here, click on Plus 1.16, and then click on 1.16.3. Once you see MC 1.16.3 there, come under Download Recommended and click on the Installer button. That will then take us off to Add Focus, where Stop! Don't click anything on this page. Don't click a single thing on this page whatsoever. The only thing you want to click on this page is the red skip button in the top right. So go ahead, click on that red skip button in the top right, and Forge will download in the bottom left on Google Chrome. Again, the only thing you want to click on this website, period, is the red skip button in the top right. Then in the bottom left, click keep as long as it says Forge in the title. It does, so you can keep it. On Mozilla Firefox, you need to save it in the screen of your screen. Again, 100% safe as long as it says Forge in the title. If it doesn't, just get rid of it and click that red skip button to start the Forge download. Now we go ahead and minimize our browser. Here on our desktop, we do have Industrial 4 going. We've also got the Titanium mod, and we've got Forge here. These are all on our desktop. Now, if these aren't on your desktop, they're going to be found in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icon in the top left of my screen, probably the bottom left of your screen. Click on that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen, and then go ahead and type in Downloads. And then have this Downloads file folder in Windows. Click on that, and in here you will find Industrial 4 going, Titanium, and Forge. Drag those to your desktop just for ease of use. Once those are on your desktop, you can close out a Downloads folder, and we're going to be starting off with Forge. Now, you should be able to right-click on Forge, click on Open With, and then click on Java. However, if you don't have Java here, what do you do? Well, in that case, you're going to need to download this. This is our in-depth guide for how to download and install Java for Minecraft mods. This being a Minecraft mod, guess what? You need to download Java for it. So come here, go to this in-depth tutorial, and get Java for your Minecraft mods. 
It's a simple three-step process. Now, in some cases, this won't fix your issue, and specifically, your files won't look like Java files. They'll still look like, you know, a book or a you know, piece of paper or something like that. And if you want to fix that, you can run the jar fix, which is also linked in the description down below. So come here, run the jar fix, and then you should be good to go. Nevertheless, we can now minimize our browser, and we can finally go ahead and right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, click OK, and it will open up the mod system installer for Forge here. Once you're here, you want to click on Install Client and click OK, and then it will download, do everything that it needs to do to get Forge installed. It may freeze in some places like this. If it does, that's OK. It might even freeze at the end. It might look like it's complete. It's not. Wait until it says successfully installed Client Profile Forge version 1.16.3, then click OK, and it will close itself. You can now remove Forge from your desktop. If you do have issues with that, no worries. Do it later on after we close Minecraft, and you should be fine. Now, though, it's time to install Industrial Forge Going and Titanium, the required mod for Industrial Forge Going. To do that, let's go ahead and open up the Minecraft Launcher. Once you're in the Minecraft Launcher here, what we want to do is make sure we have the Forge profile selected down here in the bottom left. If you don't, simply click on that, and you should see Forge in here. But before you hit play, make sure it does say 1.16.3-Forge under it. If it does, you can hit play. However, what if it doesn't? What if it doesn't say 1.16.3-Forge under it? Or what if you don't even have a Forge profile at all? If that's the case, go ahead and click on Installations up here at the top. And then what you want to do is click on the plus new button here. Now you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our own incredible Minecraft server. We have 1.16.3 Grief Protected Survival with Medieval Survival having 30 custom quests and a player-based economy. Aquatic Survival having an amazing shop-based economy. Skyblock, guess what? We've got custom islands, OP enchantments. 1.8 PvP, and so much more. And then on factions, we have amazing 1.8 native factions and small 10-player team-based factions with just incredible custom features, awesome F factions menu, so much more. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Now for the version, we're going to click on that drop-down box here, and then we want to find release 1.16.3-Forge. Right here it is for me. You may have to scroll down to the bottom to find it, but nevertheless, in here soon you will find 1.16.3-Forge. Go ahead and click on that. I'm going to change our resolution. You don't have to do that. I'm just doing that so we can see better once we get in-game. And then click the green Create button in the bottom right. Now it's going to take us here, where we have play.breakdowncraft.com. We can go ahead and hover over that and click the green play button here. And as long as it says 1.16.3-Forge, we're good to click the green play button, I should say. Click that green play button, and now Minecraft will open up with Forge installed. The hard part of installing Industrial Foregoing is done. The easy part is installing the actual mod. The hard part is getting Forge set up to install the mod, right? That's kind of how that works. So anyway... Once Minecraft is open, we'll be able to install this mod. I'm going to go ahead and do a very quick jump cut until we get to the Minecraft main menu. I will see you once we do get to the Minecraft main menu. Here we are in the Minecraft main menu. All we need to do now is click on the Mods tab, and then click on the Open Mods folder in the bottom left. Again, that was click on the Mods tab, and then click on Open Mods folder in the bottom left. That will then open up your Mods folder right like this. And now all you need to do to install Industrial Foregoing in Minecraft 1.16.3 is take and drag and drop Industrial Foregoing and Titanium from your desktop into the Mods folder, right like that. Make sure both mods are installed here into this mods folder by just dragging and dropping them into the mods folder. Now you can close out of the mods folder, and they're not going to be in Minecraft. You need to click Done, and then you need to quit the game. Then you need to reopen the Minecraft launcher here, and then this time you don't have to worry about creating a profile. Your profile should already be down here. If you click on the arrow on the bottom left, you either have your Forge profile or your play.breakdowncraft.com profile. Click on whichever one you want. And as long as it says 1.16.3-Forge under it, and then click on the green play button. And now Minecraft will open up with Industrial Foregoing installed. You actually see that the scan, Industrial Foregoing, and Titanium. That means the mods are recognized. Now it's going to open them on up in Minecraft. Awesome stuff there. That means the mod is working, so be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you're like, I'm out, but I will show you proof that it is working in-game as well. That way you just, well, you have proof. But nevertheless, we're going to go ahead and do a quick jump cut until we're on the main menu, and then we'll test it in-game. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu. We can click on mods here and see Industrial Foregoing and Titanium, both the mods we installed. But we can also click on single player. I created a world for this before when I was doing my testing of this mod. So nevertheless, I went ahead and did that. But it's not a big deal. We're going to load right on into it. And then once we're in game, we're going to be able to basically confirm that this mod is installed by placing a few blocks. Now, as I said, if we go ahead and click on the Titanium, where is it? Let's see, a Titanium or Industrial Foregoing core here, we will be able to see that the book right here is not yet implemented. So if we click on it and we try to open it and stuff, it's not going to work because it's not yet implemented. So what we need to do is just kind of place some random stuff down, to be honest. One of the coolest things for me is the conveyor belt. So we can push these, put these down, and they will actually conveyor you, right? Like, how cool is that? Let's see, uh, I forgot the, the placing like that. There we go. So now we can do this big, long conveyor belt that actually will go down steps, by the way. So we can actually, I'm having to fight the conveyor belt there. But we can actually go down and then come back up, right like so. All sorts of fun stuff like that. And then if we wanted to, we could actually make it go this way as well by doing it like that. 
and then we need to remove that and place that there. So watch this. So if we go on this conveyor belt right here, it's gonna push us right like so, and then it's gonna push us this way. I'm not moving at all. And it's gonna push us down. I have to move a little bit here because this is like a, it's a bit weird right here. But nevertheless, you can see how this would work. Or if we put like an item on this, it's gonna move the item as well, down, over, down, and then it falls off here. This is kind of a, a glitch in our system. Nevertheless, then it'll bring it up here, and then it'll glitch out at this last one because we placed it wrong and then it'll move us sideways. So awesome stuff there. That's just one of the cool things that this mod has. It has tons of tools, tons of different, you know, upgrades and things that you can do, tons of different generators. These are the different, you know, reactor generators. The agriculture stuff that you need is right here. And then you also have other industrial foregoing stuff and then the miscellaneous here. There's also resources, the iron gears and diamond gears and gold gears that is added in by Titanium. But there you have it. I don't think there's any denying that this mod is in game very, very soon. They will update the manual for 1.16.3 once it gets out of beta. But nevertheless, thank you all so, so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. Enjoy industrial foregoing. Come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. But anyway, my name is Nick and I am out. Peace.